name's Eric Scott, and I'm the Go Fast Jetpack Pilot. A Go Fast Jetpack, it's an actual hydrogen peroxide rocket. We call it a jetpack because that's what people know it as. So it's powered by superheated steam. That's basically generated by forcing hydrogen peroxide over silver plated screens. What that gets me is just under 800 horsepower and a little over 30 seconds of fuel. We are at the Royal Gorge, just outside of Canyon City, Colorado. This is the highest spansion bridge in the world. It's 1,053 feet off of the Arkansas River. Behind me is basically where I'll be flying from the north side of the canyon rim to just in front of me on this concrete pad. It's uh, approximately 1,500 feet across it. A quarter of a mile is 1,320 feet, so it's a couple hundred more feet than that. I've never flown this distance before, so this is definitely an all-time outside of the envelope uh, flight for me. We definitely need the winds to be right for this tomorrow. If they're not, then we're gonna have to scrub the time on it and see if the winds die down through the day. It is scheduled for, for 12 o'clock and that's all winds and weather prevailing, so. It's kind of funny, I'm reading a couple of uh, signs here. One says speed limit 10 miles an hour. I'll be breaking that rule for sure. Please use caution. I'll definitely stick to that one. This is just a little bit higher than where I'll be landing, which is good. I can get up and get a little bit of altitude, probably about 30 or 40 feet. And then, yeah, he's going to lay into this thing. This machine has no parachute. I joke around and call it a parachute, but uh, you know, a thousand feet over, the parachute's probably not going to probably not going to open too big. My confidence is high. That's the way I've lined this up. You know, the variables are the variables. There's nothing that's not dangerous about this. It's a it's a it's a life critical attempt, without a doubt. Um, I'll tell the public right now that I will make this. It's definitely one for the books. It's probably the coolest thing I've ever done and being a part of JetPI and, and representing JetPI and go fast, it's, it's probably one of the prouder things that I could do to, um, I don't know, to show what the best of my skills are and what this machine is that we've built that really rocks what, this, what, what, what man and machine are capable of. I'm confident in my mind about this. I work really well under pressure and it's going to be really, um, well, it's hard to say what the feeling's going to be like once I get over here. there in the center, the, uh, that's when I noticed the winds. They weren't there. I had protection on the other side. When I got in, it started pushing me a little bit. And it's just different than when you're over the ground. The winds are coming up and not across. And, and you get a lot of this. Um, yeah, you can't say enough about it, how good it is to stand on terra firma. Concrete never felt so good. It's, it's good to be alive every day. But significance is this is a, this is a new um, 
jetpack record. It's a, it's a height record, 1,053 feet off the canyon floor, 1,500 feet across. That is a, that is a world record. And uh, well, I don't challenge anybody to go out there and do it. I've been doing it for 16 years and, and uh, yeah, don't try this at home. This, what I'm doing, was a dream. And I think it's, this is the most beautiful example of what dreams are and how possible that they are. I'm just, I'm just lucky that I get to be a part of this dream. And if I could inspire anybody about anything, especially the children, is to just go for your dreams because this is living proof that they're possible.